students in our previous class we have done question number 1 and 2 of exercise 4.4 now in our today's class we will do question number 3 4 and 5 of the same exercise so let's get started now our question number 3 is mona bought a computer for rupees 25392 and a laptop for rupees 30915 so in this question it is given that mona bought a computer and a laptop she bought a computer for this much amount and a laptop for this much amount now we need to estimate how much did she pay more for laptop so how much she had paid more for the laptop we have to estimate it and find the answer so by just looking at both these prices we just uh, can uh, come to know that she had paid for uh, more for the laptop but how much more she had paid that we need to find out so how much more she had paid that we can find after subtracting but here we are not only required to subtract but we need to estimate and then subtract because whenever the word estimate will be there it means we will perform the mathematical operation but after rounding off the given numbers then only we can find the estimated number estimated amount or whatever is given in the question so let us write the statement you can write the statement um as you want to write it can be as simple as you can keep it but i will try to write it from the statement so that it is easier for you to understand so mona bought a computer for rupees 25392 she bought a laptop for rupees 30915 therefore estimated because we have to use the word estimated because then we will round off and find the answer estimated amount or money whatever you want to write okay estimated amount she paid more for laptop is now we need to round off and then only we can find how much more she had paid so let us round off rupees 25392 and then we will round off 30915 dear students we need to know that she had paid 25392 for computer and 30915 for laptop now here what we need to do is we need to just round off this place why this place because if we will round off the first digit the first number then it will be uh, the answer will be 30000 when this is 30000 and uh, cost of laptop is th also 30000 because when we will round off this one it will also come 30000 if we will round off both the first numbers so how can we come to know that what is the difference because both the numbers will be rounded off to nearest 30000 so we need to round off this one because there is a difference in the cost and we need to find the difference the amount she had paid more so here we will round off the second number not the first one from the extreme left hand but the second one because if we will round off both these numbers the first one then the uh, amount will be same 30000 30000 so there will be no difference so let us round off this one if we have to round off this one we need to look at the next number but it is less than 5 when it is less than 5 so this will remain same it means 5 will remain 5 and next all the three numbers will be 0 but if there is any number before it it will be same so 25392 is rounded off to 25000 now let us round off the next one and here also we will round off the second number from the extreme left side so the number after this is more than 5 so one will get added here so zero will become 
1 and next all the three numbers will be 0 and the number before it will be same. Now we will subtract both these numbers. So 31,000 minus 25,000. Let us subtract. We cannot subtract 5 from 1. So we will borrow. It will become 2 and this will become 11. 11 minus 5 is 6 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So rupees 6000 she paid more for laptop. Now, our next question is question number 4. A bakery shop has an order to supply 6,705 packets of biscuit. Means a bakery shop has to supply this much number of packets of biscuit. Now, there are only 4,920 packets in the shop, but the available packets in the shop are less. It means the shopkeeper requires to just make or to bake more biscuits, more packets of biscuits to complete the order or to supply the order so estimate the number of packets needed to complete the supply it means he need more packets we can subtract and come to know that how many more packets he needs to supply the order for that we will subtract but here we are not again just required to subtract but to find the estimated number of packets for that we have to round off so let us write the solution so you can keep it simple okay A bakery shop has an order of packets of biscuits is equals to six thousand seven hundred and five. So Number of packets in the shop are 4920. Therefore, estimated, we will use the word estimated number of packets needed more to complete the supply i'm writing these statements right from the question only okay so let us round off first of all 6705 so as per rule when nothing is given which place to round off so we almost round off the very first number from the extreme left side but we have to look at the next number which is next to its right side it is more than 5. When it is more than 5, this number gets increased by 1. So, 6 will become 7. And next, all the 3 numbers will be written as 0. Now, next is 4920. Now, here also we need to round off 4. But we have to look at the number next to its right side. Again, it is more than 5. So, 4 will get increased by 1 and become 5. And next, all the 3 numbers will be written as Zero. So 6705 is rounded off to 7000 and 4920 is rounded off to 5000. So now let us subtract 7000 minus 5000. 0, 0, 0, 7 minus 5 is 2. So 2000 packets are needed more to supply. Now let us do the last question, question number 5, write a word problem means a story for each of the following. Now here a number sentence is given to you and you need to just frame a story or you can say a word problem for this given number state sentence. But here we have to uh, frame a subtraction story problem, clear? So the very simple uh, story problem which you can frame is find the difference between 86,501 because it is greater 1 and 
सेवेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टू दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट सब्ट्रैक्शन स्टोरी प्रॉब्लम और वर्ड प्रॉब्लम विच यू कैन फ्रेम एंड रेस्ट यू नीड टू लुक अपॉन फ्रॉम वेरियस एंगल्स टू फ्रेम वेरियस स्टेटमेंट्स क्लियर और स्टोरी प्रॉब्लम दिस इज दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट वन Now the next number sentence is ten thousand minus eight thousand nine hundred and seventy five. Now here we will not frame that simple statement, simple word problem or story problem, but let us do something else. So there is uh, this is a statement or number sentence of subtraction. So we have to frame a problem where something will get taken away or something will get subtracted. Fine. So let us get started. A uh, shopkeeper. we can write a shopkeeper has 10000 chocolates fine then we will write he sold 8975 chocolates so how many are still to be sold or how many are left so in this statement it is given that a shopkeeper has 10000 chocolates and he sold 8975 chocolates out of them so how many are still to be sold so we have to subtract and find the answer but here we are not uh, supposed to subtract here we are supposed to only write the uh, word problem or story sum so i hope dear students you would have understood all the questions which we have done today